Okay, we just begin by taking some deep breaths into the center of your belly. Inhaling and exhaling longer than your inhale as you just release your day and everything you've been doing and maybe what you will do later to just be fully present here and now. Letting each breath draw you into more presence. And allowing yourself to crawl inside the center of your brain into your beautiful sacred space. This space is a beautiful place to create anything you want. It can be a palace outside, a beautiful solo space for you and no one else. See it, feel it, be within this sacred space in the center of your head now. Breathing into this space as you, from within this place, visualize yourself and visualize roots of a tree growing down from your sacrum, the bottom of your spine, down to the ground, down to the rock and the magma, further all the way to the very center of the earth. And then the center of this earth, this diamond core crystal, allowing yourself to feel grounded here and now. And as you ground into this quartz crystal, feeling like a vacuum, releasing anything you don't need down and out of your grounding, using your breath, intentionalizing as we work, anything can release through this passageway. Remaining in the center of your head and see now a column of light extending from the top of your head all the way through the ethers, through the daylight or darkness, up through the dark into starlight and a beautiful red ruby heart, the god of your heart, source energy connecting into this heart now. Feeling a sense of safety, love, connection, being held as it wraps that light coming down into your being, feeling filled with this love light essence, seeing a lasso of platinum light coming down around that heart, clockwise around that column of light around your body all the way to the very center of the earth. feeling in your own protected energy, connected to the God of your heart, connected to source. Calling now on our Christ conscious guides, spirit guides to be present with us here and now individually, and also as a group field, as we just lay a protective field of energy opening sacred space to work here today with all of those present within this group field. Putting us all in an orb of golden light to work today, being grounded and connected to source energy, each individually working within this group field. As we just give thanks for the support and the safety of this field now. And here allowing surrender to come in as we just also claim our connection to source light, either I am God or I am love, I am sovereign, I am free, repeating three times. I am God, I am sovereign, I am free, I am God, I am sovereign, I am free, I am God, I am sovereign, I am free, resonating that energy through your being. As you just now intentionalize to release any energies that do not belong to you, any transmuted energies, anything not yours. Say now I release all transmuted energies and take a breath. (sighs) And cutting all cords to all sentient beings, connecting them to the God of their heart as you are connected to the God of yours.
And just breathing into your connection to divine source energy, connection to the earth, and nothing else as we release all other connectors on the left, right, back of the head, or any other body part here and now. <sighs> Allowing yourself to just breathe into your heart. Start to breathe in some green and rose and aquamarine light into the heart space. Just breathing into your heart center. Gratitude for just being here, right here and now. We invite love, light, and grace to be the foundation of our session. That aquamarine, emerald green, and pink rose light fielding into the heart and radiating through the being allowing yourself to release anything that is ready now to be released through your chakra column and down your grounding that is no longer serving and bringing into your mind's eye a beautiful red rose placing it in front of you and seeing in that red rose a conflict or a situation or something that has arisen through the week that created in sort of any disharmony within the self or uncomfortability. So just bringing that up now into that rose, seeing the situation, seeing the energy and just photograph it there, just pause it if it's moving. and allow yourself to begin to feel into what am I experiencing? What is the overriding emotion I am having? Am I feeling like I'm not being heard? Am I feeling like someone's not valuing me? Am I feeling impatient? Am I feeling frustrated? Am I feeling angry? Am I feeling like a victim? Sense now into the emotion that's coming up for you. And feel into that place inside yourself of what might that emotion be coming up, not in this space with this person, that's pause that was there before I had interacted with this situation so allowing yourself to just feel into now I was feeling let's say impatient I was feeling impatient and so in that impatience I see that I'm not drawing into just being present now I was actually coming from expectation so I wasn't coming from a neutral place. And so we're drawing into where was I coming from that allowed that feeling to enter in. If I am in zero point energy neutrality, then you not washing, having dirty shoes on means shouldn't mean anything to me. So your, your issue. So we allow ourselves to feel into what's coming up, drawing into that feeling. Think, oh, and then you see, I need more patience, or I can see that I release expectation, allowing whatever's to, coming up now to start going down your grounding if it doesn't serve you. And seeing in your mind's eye three beautiful vessels, golden pitchers, and they're full of incredible plasma god light. And each one, go ahead and label it with the thing you need to help you to meet this place, I could use more patience. And that was really coming from a place of not feeling seen or valued, or maybe I was having expectation. So I see myself, I value myself. Seeing what you need now, picking about three to five things and allow yourself to label these pictures with those three to five things that you are needing. Seeing the zero point energy, where can I find the neutrality? 
what corrects the neutrality. I add a little of this and a little of that to get back into zero point energy. Because there's nobody out there and anybody out there is not the source of our discord. It is only what it is hitting within the self. So breathing into that surrender, allowing yourself to see and release as you release what is not serving and filling up and allowing those beautiful golden plasma light containers to be shining with what it is you need here and now. those beautiful vessels full and there we now take and see another golden vessel full of love light and grace full of this aquamarine rose and emerald green light and begin pouring it now into the top of your head and it's just pouring through your entire body also filling through the rose as it just starts to transform this entire situation and also move through your own energy as it's just filling up as you are a cup, a vessel, pouring in through your feet and knees, legs, hips, abdomen, chest, arms, neck, head, fingertips. And allowing with your breath, anything not in alignment with this energy to go down and out your grounding. And bringing those three beautiful colors of love, light and grace, rose, emerald, and that aquamarine, letting it circle into the base of your chakra column, just permeating like a beautiful glowing fire This is our foundation of love, light, and grace as we now take each vessel of our qualities that we would like to come back into neutrality, get us back into zero point with this situation, allowing yourself now to pour that vessel into the top of your head, seeing it fill up through the body and deposit in a beautiful, beautiful gold or platinum light platinum light at your base of your chakra column as it fills also through your feet and legs and hips and abdomen filling up through your chest arms neck head fingertips filling each vessel that platinum light as it pours into your being fills through the rose and pours this platinum light to begin to feel this pooling, glowing fire of light at the base of your chakra column or your spine. The beautiful emerald, rose, aquamarine, and this beautiful platinum light combining and building with each new energy that you are bringing in. Feeling it radiate zero point neutrality. And it just is releasing anything not in alignment with that energy in the body and being present to go down now through the grounding and out into the center of the earth to be transmuted to light. of all of these vessels, that beautiful platinum light, emerald green, rose, and aquamarine, spinning and pooling in this beautiful fire of light at the base of your spine, 
And we allow that to spiral around one another in light strands as it starts to come up your chakra column, coming into that first chakra and just allowing anything not in alignment with this energy to just release now down your grounding, cleansing and renewing this first chakra, the red center of safety, being held, letting it cleanse through that center now. Use your breath. With each exhale, releasing more down your grounding. As you breathe it up, that beautiful light and that platinum, emerald, aquamarine rose, breathing up into the second chakra, that orange center of personal power, navigated by the heart of the infinite. Releasing any place where we're abusing that power, we're coming into our ego, anything not in alignment with these beautiful energies of platinum, rose, emerald, and aquamarine, love, light, and grace, and our embodied qualities of neutrality. We allow it now to release down the grounding. Surrendering unto the self. Breathing it up now as you release anything else down that grounding as you see those colors, that platinum, rose, aquamarine, and emerald rise up to the third chakra, the solar center, the will, and brilliant yellow. Just allowing that light to bathe through the yellow, allowing it to come into balance, bringing it into alignment letting it soften and any place, any striations or threads, letting them release now down the grounding. <sighs> to allow what is only in alignment with this platinum, rose, emerald and aquamarine light through the solar plexus center. Lifting now that energy from the solar plexus up into the heart center, that platinum, rose, emerald, aquamarine light in the heart. Breathing into the heart as you allow the heart to expand and the solar plexus to consciously get in alignment with that first, second, and third chakra. And now the heart is really expanding as this is the field where we can receive all things so we allow that platinum rose emerald aquamarine light to bathe the heart center now cleansing any places of hurt worry anxiety stress knowing i am a child of the infinite i am taken care of i am infinitely held I am worthy of love. I am worthy of unconditional love. I love unconditionally. Releasing anything down the grounding, not in alignment here and now in the heart center. Letting it be wide and big, expansive. That love, light, and grace flowing through the heart. For where there is light, there can be no darkness. And there is nothing to fear when we walk through the lens of love. Rising now, those platinum, rose, green, and aqua marine energies up into the fifth center. 
the fifth chakra of that blue living water, seeing those calm blue crystal waters, letting it cleanse the waters of any murky energy, any place where you felt stuck or didn't have the words, allowing that to be, I forgive and I surrender and I forgive others and I surrender and I am valued and I am heard and allowing it now to pour through that chakra center. Releasing anything not in alignment down and out of your grounding now. Breathing up that platinum, rose, emerald, aquamarine light now from the fifth chakra up into your sixth chakra center. That brilliant indigo, seeing it cleanse now your vision, connection to your own knowingness, source energy. I am worthy, I am valued, I am connected to source, cleansing any cords, threads, now releasing all things forgiving all beings and forgiving the self now. <sighs> Releasing anything else down the grounding. As you breathe it up now into the seventh chakra, that platinum, rose, emerald, and aquamarine light into the seventh chakra, that golden lotus center, allowing it to expand, cleanse, rejuvenate, renew your connection to divine God source energy. Knowing here is the pillar in which all things rest. I am connected to divine source. I am that I am. So nini nanini. In this place, there is nothing to fear for I am that I am. I trust my source. I commit to serve my source fully, completely, and totally. Releasing anything not in alignment with this love, life, grace, and embodied zero point neutrality, cleansing and healing now, moving through the seventh chakra releasing anything down and out the grounding. And breathing that energy up, just envisioning now either that connection you already have to your eighth chakra, this eighth heart center, or envisioning it and seeing it as something a little bit above you and then maybe in front of you, kind of like a higher heart, this higher heart center, fielding everything and anything into that, to your own fourth chakra heart. So that higher heart, just envision this center now, this kind of embodied aquamarine, emerald green and rose light that is your connection to eternal source. I am this love, light and grace and that is my high heart and I allow my high heart to open and expand. As I breathe in more love, as I breathe in more peace, appreciation, gratitude, and joy into my body, Christ vessel, mind, body, spirit, here and now. Breathing as you open your chest and breathe into that divine love that is always around you forever with you. I am that I am is all that is and is always holding you in infinite love, light and grace.
basking from this place, we just see the entire chakra column ignited with this pillar of love, light, and grace, platinum light, rose, emerald green, aquamarine, through all the chakra system, the entire rainbow, igniting up through the eighth chakra, connecting into the heart, and becoming a beautiful light orb around you, that you are just encased in this beautiful essence of love, light, and grace. And this is where I operate from. This is where I get to be and sit within. So we look now again at the rose and seeing it now and has it shifted? Maybe all you see now is yourself or a mirror or just flowers or just light. If you still see a situation, put it in purple light and ask that I forgive this and I ask to be forgiven and I release it here and now. We're just embodying and allowing that entire vision to be blown into pixie dust as we release any energy from it, any remaining energy, allowing that any belief, if there's any belief holding in, well, things take time or I can't happen now. If there's a belief coming up against you, allow yourself to recognize that is a belief. Would I like to continue that belief? I have the power to choose now. So we can choose. I am done with this now. I choose to embody this moving forward here and now. I make the commitment to speak the words of encouragement and upliftment to empower myself to hold these energies. So here and now, breathing into that embodiment and that commitment to embody this love, light and grace, and the energies of your platinum light. This is where I walk forward. And as it is spoken and visioned, so it is done. And so it is. Exhaling and just blowing up any energies now, allowing it to be like pixie dust to the other side of the veil called death. And seeing now our circle, this container of empowered individuals, all radiating their own love, light, and grace, platinum light containers of connectivity to God source light and to the earth, holding in a circle this connected energy as we come together, creating more love, light, and grace as we pour now into a new center, red rose, we see the earth grid, the earth field, the earth, the mother earth, the divine masculine, divine feminine, the two part energy, alpha omega of the earth. We see it all within the center of our circle. And we infuse and hold as we hold the vibration within the self as I commit to fully embody love, light, and grace, and that which embodies me in zero point energy, I do change the grid, the earth field, and empower unity. And in that choice, we focalize our energy towards the earth grid, seeing now that love, light, and grace, that rose, emerald, aquamarine, platinum light flowing through the very blood of the earth from its core, through the ley lines, healing the transgressions, the deforestations, the oils, the poverty, seeing it move into waterways, seeing it cleansing lakes, rivers, seeing it bringing healing to the soil, to the plants, seeing it transform chemicals within the birth grid and within ourselves as I am that I am and I am another yourself. We know that all that we do for her, we do for ourselves and vice versa. 
breathing the light through her, allowing that infinite light to be held within you, radiating it now as a pillar of love, light, and grace into the center, activating our divine love now. Feeling the heart expand as the earth is expanded with more love, more tools, seeing families begin to embrace one another, seeing people have the what they need to come into balance, into freedom, seeing more understanding, compassion, patience, love. Breathe through the grid now. We hold these qualities of ascension into the earth grid as we see it in its beautiful harmonic love, as we see it cleanse and renewed, as we see the golden essence and aura of the earth grid being renewed and supported with its choice to ascend forward into a fifth dimensional harmonic frequency. Breathing in this love, light and grace through the divine masculine, the divine feminine, the alpha, the omega, empowering one another and all beings to come into balance with the infinite one, to embrace surrender into love. Wrapping now the earth grid with fields of gratitude as we just bathe it in gratitude, knowing this is done. The light has prevailed. The people are free. The earth is free. I am free. I am sovereign. I am love. Knowing that all that is required is to activate our own divine love. Releasing anything else as we breathe into this circle, holding that earth grid and that love light, and seeing the rows doubled as we just have two earth, beautiful earths expanded in divine living light within this beautiful high frequency rose. And we send red rows out together now from the center and send it all the way out into the ethers to be manifest and to be created. Sending it now with our intention and breath. <sighs> and drawing that rose in front of you now, each of us with our own vision of that rose back into your own energy field of love, light and grace, knowing that this energy of love, light, and grace, I manifest it to me as it is what I embody and then what is coming forward unto me in the earth grid. I am helping to create it and I am living it. The vibration and frequency is circular and I am resonating this love, light, grace, and platinum energy of zero point neutrality in each and every day into my field. And together we create this beautiful field of the new earth empowered in harmony, love, connection, cooperation, peace, prosperity, joy, co-creation, unity.
In gratitude, we just begin to give thanks to our guides and ascended masters for being present with us here today. Thank you for working with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As you draw back into the center of your head, breathing into your sacred space, connected to the earth, connected to the God of your heart. And seeing now just a protective, reflective shield, 100 feet thick, reflecting all evil back to source and love around your being, spiraling up around you and around that purple flames of fire. <sighs> Nothing may enter except for love, joy, appreciation, gratitude, happiness, peace. And seeing red roses growing into the ground around you and seeing these roses just be as an additional layer of fielding anything coming towards you that it goes into the rose and then you can whenever you'd like take a look at them in your mind's eye and blow them up and send them to the other side of the veil as you replace it grounded to protect your energy field with the beautiful high vibrational sweet smelling rose. And giving thanks here and now as we Seal our session in living light, in gratitude. Thank you to all who are present. Thank you to all that we represent, all the realms, fields, connections, people, place, that all that we represent would be healed and transformed by today's work here and now. In gratitude, we draw back into our breath, taking three deep breaths as you close down these energies. We seal this session in living light. And we give thanks to move forward, connected to the God of our hearts, earth and nothing else through the rest of your day. taking some deep breaths and when you're ready opening your external eyes